clamp in the desired center of stroke, Andrew unclamps the jaws and rotates the boring ring body slightly, counterclockwise to bring the adjustable dowels inward slightly. The boring ring is now clamped at the center of the stroke. As you look at your setup, visualize the direction you will be clamping in. Always be sure to clamp with the jaws against the boring ring in the same direction that you will hold the workpiece. Also, visualize the amount of force you will be clamping with. During jaw cutting, clamp the jaws with a force as close as possible to your planned part gripping force. As a basic rule, adjustable boring rings can be used up to 100 PSI maximum pressure and 900 RPM maximum speed, but don't exceed the manufacturer's specifications. In our case, we will be clamping the part at 130 PSI and the jaws at 100 PSI. The difference of 30 PSI between these two pressures is not enough to cause problems on this particular part. Keep in mind that there are many situations where you will need to clamp your workpiece at a pressure much higher than your boring ring will allow. We will address that scenario in another video in this series. When you are setting the part gripping pressure, remember there should be a balance between holding force and deformation. High jaw force deforms both the jaws and the workpiece. Low jaw force may allow the workpiece to spin inside the jaws during machining. It's a good idea to reference the chart posted on the side of your machine. Remember, spindle speed also affects outside diameter holding force. Centrifugal force pulls the jaws away from the work.